الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين عيدهم وما خلفهم ولا يهيتون بشيء من إذنه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يوله حفظهما وهو الذي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن فلا جبل رأيته خاشيا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو المالك القدس السلام المؤمن المحيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارع المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبه له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدو ما في أنفسكم أو تبقوه يحاسبكم به الله فيكر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير أمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل عمل بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسوله فقالوا سمينا وطعنا غفران فربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وصف لها ما كسبت وإليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وقتنا ربنا لا تعمل لنا إسرا كما هملته ولا الذين من قبلنا ربنا لا تحملنا ما لا تؤاكت لنا به وافو أنا وغفر لنا وارحمنا وافو أنا وغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا للقوم الكافرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أبدو ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عبدون ما عبد ولا أنا عبد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عبدون ما عبد لكم دينكم ولا يدين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن عطينا فالقوسر فصل لربك وانهر إن شانيك هو الأبتر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب ما أغنانه ما له وما كسب سيصلى نارا زاد لهب وعمراته همالة وتب في جيدها هبل من مسر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلر ولم يلر ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الخلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غافك إذا وقب ومن شر النافاسات في لقد ومن شر حاسد إذا غسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس مالك الناس إله الناس 
من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعمل وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين رمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين برحمتك يا رحمة الرحمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله Ah, 
tail quite this long. No, to my body, for body, body, you are not. I have no idea what I'm videoing. Yeah, that's that's... No, I'm going to video the pump for sure, grandfather. Is it record? Yeah, it's on. Sure, grandfather. I'm glad for you, grandfather. Yeah, yeah, he's got to come, he's got to come, inshallah. So much, it is different from what I remember, though. Yeah, it's very far different. The whole place, you know. So the airport had a had it on. And then the other road. Yeah, the other road, and you go down the back. Oh, 
with spring-filled mattress and foam pillows will give way to the hard surface of the earth. You'll be put in a box very hard and you go down into the earth very nothing, you see? That is what they're saying to you. With hungry worms under you and before you know it, the worms started to eat you out. No family or friend will look for you or accompany you in the dark chamber. This is one of the khutbah I gave at the cemeteries regularly that when you are placed in the grave, all of us go there, but you alone leave there and all of us return home. See, you can't bring back the person, nobody can do that. See, and O oh man, take stock, let me take stock, check, check up on yourself. This world is like a foreign land. Of course, we are, we are in a foreign land where we are in transit. You know when you go to the airport like you're going to for Hajj, you're in transit in London, England. You are, we are in transit in this world because we be sure we have to die. Remember friends, the angel of death will come to you someday just as he came for your beloved friends and relatives. Just like he came for our relatives, the angel of death will come for us one day. So we must fear that and remember that also. I want to know if there's someone else who'd like to say something. So that's not really a song, it's a nazam. Nazam means it's religion for death. You see? If anyone else would sing, we're singing on the day anyway. <laughs> I, I um, got a cold yesterday when I came in, I got wet in the rain and um, that's why I'm, I, I'm having a sore throat now, thanks to Shirazi Sansa Water. <clears throat> so if there's no other speaker, I would like to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart to attend this function today. It's not only attending the function, but you, we must learn something from it. What do we learn? That is to be nice to each other. You know, one man, he, he was a um, disciple or ashab, ashab means disciple, or follower of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And that man, he said to the other man, you will go to Jannat. I'm sure of that. <coughs> the other man said, nobody knows if you will be forgiven by God before it to go to Gaya. He said, oh yes, it's in the Holy Quran that God will forgive you. But what? You have to ask for it. Say, oh God, forgive me every night before you sleep. So you make sure even during the day, you ask, oh Allah, forgive me. Oh God, forgive me. You don't have to say it in 
in, in, in Arabic or Urdu or French or Farsi or Persian. You say it in English. Oh God, forgive me. The only way you can go to heaven is you have to ask God to forgive you. See? And also, she, uh, my sister mentioned, this is just condensed, that um, on the day of judgment, when we all assemble to Almighty God, there won't be uh, any more reading like this, here for we. Because everybody will be gone on that day. Everybody will hie unto their Lord, which the first uh, chapter, we, we have read verse uh, 51 in Surah Yasin. He says, on the day when the trumpet is blown, all the bodies will be raised, and we are returning to Almighty God. On that day, a father cannot help his son, neither a son cannot help his father. That means today, we are helping Ma and Pa and every one of our ancestors by saying Dua for them, by saying Fatiha for them, by reading of the Holy Quran for them. See, we are reading Quran for them to seek their forgiveness from Allah. But when the time of judgment came, when everybody and the whole world, this present world that we live in, will be dissolved, then everybody is high unto his Lord, you will be on your own. So take heed. This is a good uh, sabak. Sabak means lesson. A good lesson for us to learn that nothing will go waste. Anything that you learn will come in very useful. You see? And Prophet Muhammad said that if you go to bed every night and you remove all malice from your heart, you will go to heaven for that. What I mean by that is, if somebody bothers you, you ask Allah to forgive them. Prophet Muhammad never kept any malice. So much so, one man used to empty his garbage in his land, in his yard, and every day he used to pick it up. One day he didn't see the garbage, so he, he, he went over to find out by the man what to happen. And he found the man sick. So he asked the man, um, what happened? He said, it was very sick today, he didn't get to go through his garbage out. He said, but you were throwing it in my yard. He said, oh, I, 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 I thought, you, I see you clean it every day, so you might as well put it there. He said, no, that is wrong. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to throw your garbage out or burn it. He said, anyway, how I heard about you, and he accepted Islam, and he made him also Muslim. You see? So you, what you have to do, what you like for yourself, you have to like for others. So at the end of the day, remove all malice from your heart and go to bed with a con contented heart. Thank Allah for what the blessings He bestowed upon you and acknowledge that everything that we have is from Almighty God. For example, this shirt I have is from Almighty God. Of course, my wife bought it, of course. But it is from <laughs> the blessings of Almighty God. That's why we got it, you see? So don't think that we get everything here by itself. It comes from Almighty God. Understand? So I will ask each and every one of you to put your hearts and hands together and we will seek forgiveness for ourselves and all our ancestors and we will say the word. Allahumma ameen. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Amana rasulu bima unzila ilayhi mi rabbihi wal mu'minun. Kullun amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi. La nafariku bayni ahadi mi rasulihi. وقالوا سمينا واتانا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إذا وصها لها ما كسبت وإليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا وقتنا ربنا لا تحمل لنا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا لا تحملنا ما لا تواقت لنا به وأفوانا واغفر لنا وارحمنا وأخوانا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا للقوم الكافرين Almighty Allah, we thank thee for every good thing that you give us in this world and everything that is given to us, we ask thee to shower your blessings on it and bless our home, our food, our clothes and all our whereabouts, our car and work and everything Baraka in our work. Baraka means blessings for our work, Uru Bhagavad We beg thee to guide us and protect us from the dangerous seen and unseen in this world. We do not know about the future, but
but protect us from the shaitan and the future O Rabbul Alameen. O most merciful creator, we ask thee to forgive us all and to guide us and protect us. And we ask thee for all of our relationship, all our relatives who passed away, make it easy for them. And to, uh, we ask thee for paradise for all of us in the hereafter and those who have gone before us, we will be following them. May Allah forgive us and them. Subhanahu rabbika rabbi lisatayya ma'ayya sakoon. Wassalamu ala al-Muslim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi rahmatika ya rahmar rahimeen. And now, I must thank the, all those who prepared this food last night. There was a big jamaat prepared the food. And I know how hard they work because I didn't help. And um, participate in it is also barakah blessing from Almighty God. To participate in the food which is prepared is blessing from Almighty God. So please do. Eat as much as you can. <laughs> Thank you very much for your patient hearing. And may God bless each and every one of you. Until we meet again, alright? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.